What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video we're starting a new tutorial series for Unreal Engine 5.3. In this tutorial series we're going to be using the third person template. I'll be making a separate tutorial series later on with the first person template, but this one is going to be going over how to make use of the third person template and just do a bunch of really cool tricks that um, helped me learn Unreal Engine and will hopefully help you as well. Uh, so before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to our members, uh, Miss Mo Davis and Tammy the Psychic. Thank you so much for being channel supporters. If you want to support this channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. So onto the tutorial itself um, and a bit of background for it. Uh, essentially, I want to recreate my original tutorial series with um, more content and obviously more updates and continuing the series long term. And the way I plan to do that is with GitHub. So I'm actually hosting the entire project on GitHub and there will be a version of it that you can download every time I upload a video. So when I upload the first video, there'll be a new commit, the second video, a new commit, and you can follow along and download any of these source code or source projects for the file itself. So we have the standard thir third person template here. Let's go ahead and press play and see what this looks like. If I run, the camera follows it exactly, right? Uh, so one cool trick I wanna show you is camera lag. And what camera lag does is instead of the camera immediately going wherever the player goes, it lags a bit. It, it takes a few seconds to catch up to the player and including camera movement lag as well. This is very exact speed. And with the lag, we can add a bit of slowness to that um, to add some weight to our game. So let's go ahead and try that out. Let's open our third person character. So we're gonna go to content, third person, blueprints and then bp third person character now we have all of these blueprints here what we want to do is head over to our viewport so we can see what the character looks like with the camera if we click on the camera we can see that it's connected to a camera boom here's the boom here and all we want to do is with that camera boom selected scroll down on the right hand side and find camera lag we're going to enable camera lag and we also want to enable camera rotation lag, but we're going to do that separate um, or second to this so I can show you what the first one does. So let's go ahead and test the game. Now the camera is exactly the same, but when I run, you'll see that the camera slowly catches up to the player as opposed to being immediate and then it kind of fades back out. We can exaggerate this effect by again going into our third person blueprint and with camera lag um, enabled changes to a lower number so it's much slower and we can test this again now you'll see that the player gets really far away and as we let go the camera catches back up and we can see that we can actually run around an entire area and it gives a really interesting effect maybe not something you'd want to use in your game like this unless you had a specific use for it, but the camera lag is an interesting effect nonetheless. If you want it to be more snappy, you just go into the exact same location and instead change it to a higher number. So for example, 20. And if I hit compile and play, now the camera still lags behind the player, but it's much quicker to catch up. Now let's see what, uh, rotation lag does. So let's go ahead and enable this and set this back to 10. And we're also gonna have a separate variable for camera rotation lag speed. So we'll leave that as 10 as well. Let's go ahead and hit play. And now you can see that the rotation is also a bit slower. I personally think this is a really nice effect, especially when you start to move it down to a slower speed. It's a much nicer effect than you would get uh, with the standard immediate camera follow. So yeah, uh, this is just a quick uh, intro to the tutorial series with a quick tip on how to make your game kind of look a little cooler. Um, but we're going to expand this to include so much more weapon pickups, uh, shooting, projectiles, line casting, destructible meshes, 
all that good stuff. Um, we're going to go through it in this series. And the source code is going to be on GitHub the entire time. So that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. It's my detect, my detect, uh, my detect the architect, uh, my detect, my detect, yeah, my detect the architect.